Hey guys, if you are wondering how to add offsets to your stickers using Canva and Cricut Design Space, you have come to the right place. Now, offsets can be used for different projects. Um, I normally only use them for printing stickers. So I want to share two different ways of how to do this. I'm not the Cricut expert, but I do. I am an expert in showing people how to do things. And I wanted to share this for those who may get stuck or are struggling with adding offsets and getting them to print correctly. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about or share how to print them. Um, I'm just going to more so focus on adding the offsets and sort of what kind of problems I've run into in the past to help you to avoid some of those problems. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Dallas Gordon, and this channel is all about marketing, motivation, as well as the spiritual inside stuff too. So if that's your jam, feel free to stick around the Go-Getter Tribe. Um, I upload videos every single week, so I would love for you guys to drop a comment when you stop by, talk to me, ask questions, let me know what you would like to see on the channel, and I love having conversations with you guys. Okay, so let's get into this tutorial. So here's what I will say. This is like my second time recording this video. The first time that I recorded the video, my thinking was that I would just do a tutorial showing you guys how to add offsets to Canva. I would just focus on the Canva hack because I have a lot of videos on my channel on different tips and tricks and how to use Canva, things like that. But once I actually brought my stickers over to Cricut Design Space, I realized that they were not printing correctly um, so I left a part out so here's what I will say I'm going to teach you guys how to add offsets um, an offset to stickers inside of Canva what I will say guys is that it the, the um, feature is not necessarily needed anymore but this still might be helpful to those of you who want to use Canva to add offsets to different things. And this video will also be helpful for people who want to add offsets inside of Cricut and they really don't understand how to work it or how to use it. So what I was using offset um, in Canva for was I was adding offsets to my stickers so that when I went into Cricut to print them, um, Cricut knew you know how to print them where to print them so what I will say is is that this works well if you are printing stickers on a sheet if you have a backing sheet that you're gonna be adding into Cricut and you're gonna put stickers on top of the backing sheet this little trick will um, work for highlighting around your stickers so you can tell Cricut where to cut it's just that you don't really need it anymore because Canva has its own offset tool now and it really really works well okay so for those of you who want to do this inside of Canva I've just uploaded um, a few images right here into my Canva account I'm preparing for um, a Paris a month for my subscription my stationary business so oftentimes if I don't feel like designing the stickers myself which I may not most of the time because when it comes to crafting making things and doing things myself and having my family to help me I'm more straightforward so if something's gonna take too long to do it I'm most likely gonna pull out because I don't really like to take too long with my projects so in this case, guys, I got these stickers from an um, Etsy seller. What I do want to say about doing that is that um, be careful about reading all the fine lines and all the policies of the Etsy shop owner. Also know what the policies are for downloading um, images from Canva, how you can use them and how you can't use them because you would hate to put something on a project and start to sell it and then later have the sellers to reach out to you and say, hey, slap your wrists and say, hey, you can't use my product because you haven't purchased a license. So all these images that you see, I have permission you know from the sellers to use these for commercial purposes so I'm turning these into stickers so I just wanted to put that out there so that people know because some people don't know they just use whatever images they find on the internet and think it's okay and I used to be that person <laughs> so I just wanted to put it out there so anyways let's just say that I, I'm preparing to add these stickers to a sheet um, what I would do first is change this background to black um, just like that and that's so that I can see what I'm doing and then I'm gonna click on the car I'm gonna click edit image and then I'm gonna go down to shadows 
Okay, I'm gonna click shadows and I'm just gonna use this first shadow, which is my favorite shadow to use in Canva in general. And then I'm gonna click on these little lines here so that I can edit the um, shadow that I'm applying so that it can show up the way that I need it to and create my offset, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna turn the blur on this um, effect all the way down. I'm gonna change the color um, of the offset to white. So I'm just gonna use this white here. And then from there, I'm going to turn the transparency all the way up. You don't have to do that. Um, and then I'm, you don't have to turn it all the way up if you don't want to. And then I just want to create a small outline around the car. So you guys see that? So I have the option to make it really big. Um, where I had the option to make it really small. So when you're putting these stickers on your sticker sheet, that outline is where Cricut knows to cut, okay? So um, be careful about making the outline too big, especially if this is gonna be going onto a sheet with other stickers. You don't want for them to be bumping up against each other and then when Cricut cuts, it's overlapping the cut. That's happened to me before too, so be careful with that. So I just wanna outline it large enough so that when someone takes this off of the sheet, this this little part of the car won't rip off. Because that's another thing. When you have little pieces, be careful of making your offset too thin because you don't want for people to rip the stick, you know, rip the stickers as they're taking them off. Um, so from here I'm just going to hit apply. And now I have my offset. And just remember, guys, that you're going to, you know, delete this black background and then you're just going to add it to your sticker sheets, um, which is going to be like your backing. And I was what I typically like to do is arrange the stickers onto a sheet as I'm designing them here in Canva just to kind of see what they're looking like. And I could always do more videos on sticker sheets if you want me to do that. <laughs> My channel isn't really focused that way but I'm free to share as I you know as you guys ask so let me know but this is pretty much how to apply an offset so we're just going to do one more and remember what I said guys about this really works great if you are looking to just upload your stickers um, already with the offset on them for a sh and you're going to have a backing sheet on your um on the back of your stickers so basically you're sending out sticker sheets that people are pe where they're peeling the stickers off of the sheet this isn't for die cut stickers because what happened when i tried to upload this into cricut with an offset applied for die cut stickers which are individual stickers what happens is, is that it double applies like um sort of like an offset to them and it causes a lot of black lines around your stickers and that's not cute you don't want that you want everything to be neat when you're selling or sending things to people okay so we're gonna also do it on this building here remember first i'm gonna turn this background black that's gonna be my first step from there i'm going to highlight the image click edit image and then i'm gonna go down to shadows i'm gonna go over to the glow shadow and then I'm going to click these little lines so that I can edit um, how much I want or how, how less I want. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my blur all the way down because I want more of a solid line. I'm going to turn um, the offset. I'm going to turn it to white. And then I'm going to just increase the size um, so that I can see it and see what it looks like when it's not, the transparency is not turned up. It's almost like a grayish color because it's more see-through. I wanna make sure Cricut understands exactly how to cut my um, sticker, so I'm just turning it up. I just like to turn it all the way up. And then from there, I can set my size to wherever I wanna set my size. Okay, so the more that you want filled in, the more you're gonna have to increase this size. So see how big that's getting, guys? If you need to fill in, the more you increase the size, the more you can fill in. I don't want my sticker to be um, highlighted that much. Okay, so then I'm just gonna hit apply. And I don't know what that little white line is right there. I have no idea what that is. Um, but you're just gonna take the black out. And then from there, you know that it's highlighted. And for something that's a little more detailed, like for instance, this bike. I'm gonna give you an example. So first I'm gonna turn the background to black. I'm gonna click on the bike, edit image, and then I'm gonna go to shadows. I'm gonna click glow. And then I'm gonna click on these little bars as soon as it catches up. I'm gonna click on these bars to edit my shadow. Okay, so in this case, I'm turning it white again. And then I'm gonna turn my blur down to zero. 
Okay, now I'm gonna turn this transparency up. So I wanna show you what happens. So let me give you an example, guys. If you leave it like this, Cricut is gonna cut out this opening here on the bike. It's gonna cut out this little opening here. Let me make it a little larger so you can see it. You see these openings here? Cricut is gonna cut all those details out if you leave it as is, all right? And so we don't wanna do that. What we want to do is we wanna close those gaps. So the way that you're gonna do that is just by increasing the size. You're gonna increase it so that it continues to fill in the bike in areas where you don't want Cricut to cut. Okay, so this looks really good and just feel free to just enlarge your image so that you can really see the holes and stuff. And when you put it over in Cricut, you'll really be able to see them anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna make this small again. From here, guys, you're just going to, um, when you're ready to upload these images to Cricut, um, you wanna make sure, and like I said, don't forget that in my case, just trying to make these die cut stickers does not work well. This will need to go on a backing sheet in order to cut um, the in, in print the way that it's supposed to because really you don't need to have an offset for your images um, coming into Cricut. Um, you don't need an offset on these images. You can do everything you need to do right inside of Cricut um, for die cut stickers and that's what I had to learn the hard way. Um, so that's from my own experience, guys. Someone else may have a different experience with this, um, but this is from my own experience. So hopefully that'll help somebody. Okay, so we're going to go over to Cricut now. Um, let me open that up. So I'm going to go back to my canvas inside of Cricut Design Space. So I want to show you, these are the stickers with offsets that have actually been added inside of Cricut Design Space, okay? So we're going to do another sticker together so I can kind of show you what I did. So the first thing that I did was I selected my entire canvas. Um, I just selected my canvas and I changed my blank canvas to a different color. So that's one of the first things that I did. It's already blue right now, but if you click on blank canvas, you can change your color to, you know, like purple. I do that so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, I learned it from somebody's channel, y'all. I can't remember the young lady's name, so I'm just gonna use blue like she does. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, and let's just say you are creating die cut stickers, you wanna um, add an offset to them just like I've done here. You're gonna go to upload an image. So I'm gonna take it from scratch. I'm gonna go into my computer. I'm gonna get an image that I haven't done yet. I'm just gonna pick this last one. It's a little cute little bicycle. I always select complex, continue, um, and then from here, I just do apply continue. And in my case, I'm printing and then cutting for die cut stickers. Okay, so I'm gonna click print then cut. Um, and this just gives you an idea. And this is what I'm saying, guys. This is why you don't need to double like do this, do this twice because Cricut's, if, if you do like cut the image, this is pretty much giving you an idea of how Cricut would cut this image. Okay, so if you're bringing it in with another offset from another program and you're doing die cut, for me, it creates marks and things around my stickers. Cricut doesn't like it. So it's to me, it's better to go ahead and upload them directly into Cricut, go ahead and add your offsets right here, and then I have no problem printing my die cuts doing it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file. Then I'm gonna click on the file and add the file to the canvas. Once I do that, here's my image, okay? So I'm just gonna bring it down and scale. I just do it right from the beginning. I know exactly kind of what size I want these to be. So I'm just gonna bring it down. Now from here, I'm gonna go up here on the menu and I'm gonna select offset. I like my offset to be 0.125. That's what I prefer for my stickers. I can move this little dial or I can go in and just type it. I just like to remove the dial. So you can see here how it's gonna outline um, my sticker and I keep it curved. I keep the corner curved and then I apply it. So that's pretty much how it's gonna look behind um, my sticker. So I'm gonna remove this front part. Um, and this, this, this looks like it needs to be contoured a bit. Um, we're not even going to begin to get into that part um, right now. But this is pretty much what the back is going to look like when I add offset to my sticker. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna change this white. Put this back up here, okay? And then I have my offset. And I can always just like align these center, be centered on each other. And then from there, I'm gonna attach them together. And then I have my offset for the sticker. So that's how you're gonna do it over here into Cricut Design Space. If I don't like this little hole, I can always take it out. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it because contours are something different. And I think you have to have more than one um, area like that to eat for the contour um, options to even come on. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, so we're going to do one more together and then I want to end the video because it's getting really long. So I'm going to go in and select another one of my stickers and I'm going to bring it in this little cute little box, complex, continue, apply and continue again, print then cut image and really in this case this image probably wouldn't even need you know to have an offset applied it probably would print fine as is but i'm gonna go ahead and apply one anyway so i'm just gonna click here and add it to the canvas and from here i'm going to just make it a little smaller i like to make my stuff small right from the beginning that's just what i like to do um, and then i'm going to click offset take it down to where i like it to be which is zero um, 0.125 and because it's already like perfect I'm gonna take that down even more because I really don't want like a huge offset around it so I'm taking it down like even lower than I normally do um, and then I'm gonna hit apply I'm gonna turn that offset to white okay and then from here I'm gonna just attach the two since they're already centered I'm gonna flatten them okay and then I have my offset so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, feel free of course to play it back as many as times as you need my goal here is to help people to be able to um, apply the offset using Canva or inside of Cricut Design Space and what different um, projects that you would need these for and so I am not by any <laughs> By any, I'm I'm just not a Cricut expert, guys, but I do own a stationary store and a subscription box for stationary lovers. So I have learned my way around design space and different lots of different things behind the scenes so I can learn how to make a lot of these things myself. So if you guys have any basic questions, feel free to drop them below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you on the next video.